Vibe with your girl Shashi 263. Today I'm joined by one legendary producer, musician, guitarist and author. His name is Clive Mono Mukundu. So sir, may you kindly introduce yourself to the viewers at home. Hello viewers, my name is Clive Mukundu and better known as Mono. Mono is a stage name and a nickname that I was given in 1989. Um, my interest in music was first seen when I was around age nine. That's when I made my first of guitar. So, so I used to play that one in hiding because my parents didn't want me to get into the music industry. Then in 1988, um, I was now grown, I was 17. <laughs> So I approached somebody, like the name of last side is the one who taught me how to play on a proper guitar. So that first year I formed my first band song on each other. So that was my entry point into the music industry. It was 1988. Wow. So tell us more about the Sangani Chanters. Um, it was a band that comprised of me, Edson December on bass, Chanda Firen Rizan on drums. Then and the late Noah Moringai on rhythm guitar. Uh, we did a number of auditions, about 10 auditions, and they all failed. So as a result, the group was discouraged and got disbanded. Okay. So, that's, all the so that's when you joined the Chucks Brothers, right? Yeah, after Sarangano Chanters, I joined the Chucks Brothers, mm -hmm. 19, end of 1989. Mm -hmm. That's when I was given that name, Mon, Mon oh, okay. Yeah, by Mike Asen. Mm -hmm. So, Chuck's um, brothers, we also tried a number of auditions and they failed again. So, the group disbanded the following year, 1990. Mm. What was the main reason why the, the groups were failing, though? It's just out of curiosity. Um, those days, the music industry was different from the way it is now. Okay. Those days, we were under the contract system, uh, okay. the record label system. So what they used to do is you were supposed to do an audition, a live audition, or bring a demo tape. Mm -hmm. And then if you play according to what they wanted, or what they deemed something sellable, yeah. they would record you for free, market you for free, do all the videos for you for free, and then they'll get their money from sales. The now they to really make sure that uh, your music sells. Mm -hmm. So you have to play to a certain standard. If you couldn't reach that standard, you wouldn't pass the audition. So I wouldn't blame them because when we started, we still knew yes, we, yes. we were very much inexperienced. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> yes, 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 so yes. we failed all those auditions due to incompetence, yeah. not due not to, to yes. you know, not, not because of anything. I know these days it's now very much in fashion to be incompetent. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that's how the group failed. Yeah. 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 To be a victim, say, I'm black. Yeah, I'm short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, at times, I'm going to be a fashion to play a victim. But yes, yes. I do admit it's an uncertain experience. That's why we failed all those auditions. So, obviously, I think it is quite common for the Chucks brothers to fail in the music industry. Yeah. Because it's like how music, the music industry was back then, like you know, it's for the time auditions and go through that proper structure which you know, put in Twitter a record deal and I'm gonna get signed and have my stuff. Like comparing it to now, is there much difference? Or actually, there is difference, but what can you say about music back then and music now? Yeah, there's a huge difference in the way things are being operated these days because these days, uh, all you need to record is your money. Mm. If you don't have the studio equipment, mm. studio equipment is now very cheap. Mm. So anybody can also mm. buy equipment and record themselves at home. Mm. But um, the difference between Zimbabwe and other countries mm. is that uh, in other countries they still have record labels. Yes. That's why their music is going forward. Mm. Ours is taken. Because in Zimbabwe we no longer have record labels. Yes, because when piracy, the, the piracy problem came. Um, no one took uh, care of the problem. Mm -hmm. As a result, all the record labels, they folded. So that's why up to now you can notice with the, as a country, so far the only international artists we've produced ever since uh, the record label system mm -hmm. fell apart is only Mokomba. Yes. One. So, and uh, the reason why is because Mokomba won a competition 
uh, talent competition and they were under the structures of Music Crossroads International. Because yeah. you can't go international by just doing collaborations yes, yes, you can. or yes. just producing good music. Mm. You need structures. Yes. So the difference between then and now is that uh, during the analog era, uh, we had structures in Zimbabwe and everything was Proper. uh, was properly done with record labels and so forth. But right now we totally don't have structures, so things are just a y. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk about some of those structures, you know, Because you know, there's a lot of conversation that happens like on the internet when people talk about putting, what is wrong with our music industry. Because you know, when they are discovered by YouTube, when you discover, I'm going to say, I was a status I right? But then also, ten years down the line, then you. You say, okay, you've got a million views. All right, you're known by who, and we've got collaborations, but can you really say, Kuti, you're a musician or not? Let's talk about those proper structures that were there back then. That, you know, yeah. Let's talk about that. These days, the problem is that people are relying on hype. Mm, yes. And they are relying on emotions. Yes, true. Yeah. Mm. Because uh, if you want to really move forward, uh, like what the Western world does, they look at history mm -hmm. and they look at scientific data. Uh, you look at numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now in Zimbabwe, right now, we've got a lot of fake, um, <laughs> what, what can they call them? Fake experts. Yes, true, yeah. yes. People yes. who just look at, um, like, mm -hmm. um, they can look at American data mm -hmm. and try to impose it on, on Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yes. Was, uh, what happens in Zimbabwe, in fact, Zimbabwe is totally different from South yes, Africa, it is. from Nigeria, from. America. Mm -hmm. So you for you for you to know how to maneuver in the Zimbabwe music industry, you need to look at our history. Yes. Our music history. Mm -hmm. But some things they never change. Yeah, they don't. Also the reason why we study history is because history informs the mm -hmm. present. The present. And uh there are certain things that do not change. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Because that's why they say history keeps repeating itself. Yes. But the reason why we do not notice it is because it comes with a different name. For example, Barika. Eh. You still have it. <laughs> yes, it's still. <laughs> yeah, it's still the same concept. Yes, yeah, it's still the same One concept. One man and three women. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. It's still yes, the same yes. concept, but it has got a different yes. name. So, coming back to your question, uh, the reason why music in Zimbabwe is not going forward is not because of talent. Mm -hmm. Because if we are talking about the music industry, it's 10% talent and 90% business. Mm -hmm. So the business side is more important than the talent. That's why you notice that in America there are artists like Jane Van Lopez yes. who can't sing. Yes. But they're millionaires. Yes. There's artists like uh, Madonna, she's never performed a live. She's always using, um, she's always lip syncing. Yes. But she's, she's a millionaire because million. they're concentrating on the business side. Yes. So in Zimbabwe, we are concentrating on the talent. Talent, more than the business And the, side. the music business is not a talent show. Yes. Then number two, sure. number two, in Zimbabwe, in terms of what, uh, what's trending is mm. not what's selling. I said it. Yeah. So, at times we notice uh, the trends. Mm. And then um, at the end of the day, I suppose that no one comes to the show. That's, that's, I, I think this is like the norm actually. Like most of yeah. the people, they rush. I, I discover, right? Of, of course, you've got a million views. Mm. But live show. They can't even perform. Yeah. They've never worked with a band I remember before. one artist, uh, I got um, millions of views. Mm. I won't mention names. Yes. Uh, but uh, Apinda, mm. I got a show again. I attended the show. And uh, it was, I was 30 minutes late. I mean, I was 30 minutes late, mm. but we were only seven people in the show. I counted the number of people in the show. So <laughs> I got my million views. Yes. And then what else? I got a seven beer. Mm. But money can 10 views by YouTube, mm. but we show my name. Ah, it's true. So yes. basically, Zimbabwe is a serious enigma when it mm. comes to the music industry. Mm. You need to look at history. Mm. Now, coming back to Nyaya yeah, yeah, history, to get us a history of the Zimbabwe music industry, there's not even a single artist who has made real money or gone international mm. playing foreign music. Yeah. It has true. never happened. Very in Zimbabwe. True. So I know it's a painful truth. But it's a, a lot of it's a people don't want to admit it. Yes, yeah, it's a true. lot of people don't want to admit mm. it because they, they take data from America, America and yes. try to impose it on Zimbabwe. They take data from, from Nigeria, Nigeria and try to impose it. They take data South from Africa. South Africa yes. and tell you 
Uh, there's Casper in the vest, he's making it with people, but he's in South Africa, he's not in And he's singing also my animal South African elements that he puts. We're going to yeah. if someone, whoever is in America, I can put here, they'll be like, this doesn't sound like Yeah, James. I'm going to come there. Yes. Well, that's a good point, I'm going to come there. Mm. So, first of all, if we are to move forward, number one, we need to look at history mm. and see how history can inform the present. Because if you look at the uh, small music industry, it started around the 1930s when people were coming from the rural areas and some were coming from Malawi and Zambia and uh, black people were staying in Bali. Mm -hmm. So, we are talking about jazz. That's when we had groups like uh, the City Quads and the... Um, that's when they started. And nothing happened until the era ended. Mm -hmm. Jazz where I trained those days. Then after jazz era, they came to the rock era in the nineteen seventies. With such bands like um, Eye of Liberty, Gypsy Caravan, artists like Manu Kambani, they were huge. They used to have festivals in Bandura City. And the rock was training that time. And everybody thought these guys are going to go international, they're going to yeah. go to America, blah 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 blah. And nothing happened until the era finished. And then we had the reggae era in the 80s after Bob Marley came to Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. and then after that era, then came the Eben Groves yes, era. Eben Groves yes. was more of American than Zimbabwe. Yes, it was. And then it passed away. I mean, it, it passed again. <laughs> Nothing happened. No one made money. Yes, right yes. now, we are in the Niger era. Everybody's yes. trying to sound so Nigerian. Major. Remember Zimbabwe Niger? Yeah, we do. That's why every time we try to do a foreign genre, mm. it always fails. Yeah, yeah. But because it doesn't matter, it means that we are a sound. Most people always ask me, do we have a Zimbabwe sound? Yes, we have a Zimbabwe yeah, sound. Yes. That's the yeah. sound. Mm. And that under that we have a sound, the artist like Thomas McFarland, who is the mm. um, real brother of the boys. Of course, one of the massive genre names. Yeah, like, um, Chimurenga, Katekwe, mm. blah, blah, blah. But it's not as it is, it's the under the mm. Now, looking back to the yeah, history and the world, mm. if you look at Zimbabwe history, all the artists that became international, they were playing something 100% Zimbabwe. Artists like Stella Chumishi, Thomas Mofumo, Chumiso Marae, Olam, Kuzimo Komba, Blegum Follows, all those artists were playing something that was very local. And then someone might say, oh, what about Sungura? Sungura is not 100% Zimbabwe. It's not, it's not. Sungura started in Kenya mm -hmm. when uh, the other same musicians met with the Kenyan musicians and started a brand of rumba which was later called Kanindo. Mm. Kanindo was the name of the producer. Oh, His name okay. was Alfares Kanindo. Okay. So people thought the type of music is called Kanindo, but it was the name of the producer. And it was recorded under a label called, a record label called Sungura. So what oh. they used to do is, um, Papa Records, Pacho, Pani Paganino was still a record label called Sungura. Mm. So my freedom fighters, when they first came to Zimbabwe, mm. They thought the music is it's called, called Sungura. Sungura. Okay, yeah. okay. So, okay. of course, it was later Zimbabwe nice, but for some funny unknown reason, <laughs> Sungura has failed to, to go international. Yes, it has. But locally, it has made yes. a lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah, and, but the uh, international Asian area, you know, is the Mozambique. Mid South. Uh, South Africa, the northern part of South yes. Africa, mm. and a um, few other areas. But basically, that's my point, answering your point, Bongoy Vuzoti. Patugurasika Papi is Zimbabwe, we are Tugurasika Pani Aguti, we are not Zimbabwe nice, but not to always disappoint, and we ignore our own sound. Because as Zimbabweans, we always feel inferior. We don't like our language. Yes! And we don't like our language. And we don't like our music. And we don't like our music. We always idolize something yes. which is foreign, mm. so that's why we lose it. So yeah. right now, I know to watch a Google up and don't use Niger, but even this guy, professor, professor, or whatever, mm. I tell you, even five years from now, I'm mm. gonna Niger, she's chingy, she's a poor, I'm gonna artist and wait and marry with that music mm. until they find the waves not being nice. Yes, wow, Ooh. yes. That was knowledge there. Okay, so it's <laughs> yes, I, call it <laughs> I was learning. I was like, okay, oh, I didn't know this. I didn't know. That. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, what made you leave after a year? Um, like uh, when you left the um, the Chucks brothers? Oh, you said we said the band had left, right? Um, yeah, we we failed to record. So, 
we we also made one mistake. No, it's not us though. Yeah. Uh, I was the band leader, but when we moved to Norton, mm -hmm. we put under the guidance of uh, a man called Jackson Piri and another man. I've forgotten his name. Because I was still very young. Oh, okay. And um, those gentlemen, they came with the idea. They told the sponsor, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's these guys must survive from music. Oh, so do not sponsor us. We must do our own shows. And, and uh, use that money and the energy commercial sure. for survival. And since we had no recorded material, mm. all the shows were flops. Takaru and Zara, the other time, the era of Manima put him up Seni, my put him as Kati, my put him on Yellow. And in this day, when I go to Fungat Pomatungo, in the times, Mutu, I'm going to fuck on a team called Middle Mapras, Toto, Torach Badisha, and Jim Mapras, you know, culture. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not about it's not about it's not stealing your guests. That's how that's how we survive. So the other side of the panel, we are not going in. So I admire the singer was part of the band. The panel blew up. I know that I'm going to sing. The panel blew up. I know that I'm going to sing. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's what I wanted to talk about. From 1990 to Um, was found, the name was uh, Crocodile Rukas King. It was a guy by the name of Mendes Chikoko. He approached me and um, a few other guys and uh, told us that uh, he had found a contract to play at a hotel in time. So we, the news was very exciting. That I don't want to talk about hotel. But I'm not going to talk about And Chikoko there was nothing. Even people are rich up on bus tours. Tis it is six seven hundred up on the bus come out. Kids, you go to the local press and say, "I go through." And now, what? Panaga na kumuri tse. You tell me, you tell me, you tell me. Till man, till the day that was on the club, you come and you go. And it's been a long one. Just outside the car. So I approached the car counselor, and we employed the people for three months. But come on, guys, come on, come on, come on. But we just wanted something to stay. And then. But for a year, and the first two three months we got paid. But after that, management they got a lot of money. 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 They got a lot of because those are a lot of uh, times in the So we really suffered until I came up with an idea when I been leading to let's confiscate the instruments and force them to pay, but here it comes. <laughs> so, the other time we were going to go, we were going to go, and I was going to go, so I was the vice president. Then I mobilized them, but I don't tell my instruments. By force, then we were going to approach the management, and I used to miss the tutorial, and I used to miss the tutorial, and I used to miss the tutorial. So, I was going to try, but I think I'm a police officer, but I took out my police officer too, but if I don't know how to approach me, my judge, my police officer was our fan. I don't know, I know guys, I'm your biggest fan, and so I was going to miss the loyalty of your hands, and I don't know my instruments, and then we forced them to. So we were the first band in many years of Papa Papa Tini Mane. Wow. So I don't want to go back to Harare. So I don't want to go back to Harare. We recorded our first album, Renzi Lengo. But soon after the recording, Papa Marangu Buddha, we discovered the band leader. I can't change the story band from Crow Devil's Game to his singing in Chikoro. Ah! So I was a point to decide. Conflict. Yeah, because really I had made up my mind that I didn't want to be a band member. I wanted to to be part of my, my leader as a band. And she joined a band, I would be one of the songwriters. Okay. And she called to be doing this. I didn't want to be a band member because I know it in Zimbabwe. 
one of the biggest problems in my band is in the body. Band members are ill treated to the extreme when it comes to the band. So I didn't want to be a band member. Yes. So, anyway, how is my Mukundu, Tairo, and Takunda? How are they doing? They're doing very well. Mm -hmm. I started dating my wife, started with 12th June 1993, mm -hmm. and uh, we got married in 1994. Mm -hmm. And we are still married uh, up to now, so I think we've got about 26, 27 years in marriage. So we are still going strong, and we are not trying to westernize our marriage. <laughs> our marriage is very African, that's why it's lasting. Yes! <laughs> Go African people! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, and, and the kids, Terry and Takunda? Terry is the first born, she was born in 1994. Mm -hmm. um, she's got a degree in some computer stuff. She started working recently, and uh, Takakonda is a um, professional guitarist. Mm -hmm. He plays for Amara, for Zimpreis, and all other artists. He's also featured on the latest Japanese album. Oh. And um, so he's doing very well as a session guitarist. Mm -hmm. So basically, I just have two kids. Two kids. Okay. Right. <laughs> 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 no, I'm and everybody that he came with yeah. said he looked like me. Oh. <laughs> Coincidentally, his yeah. name is also Mono. Oh! Yeah, and he looked exactly like me. And, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm Dio Sango Well, thank you so much for uh, giving us this opportunity to get to know more about you and your career and the music industry. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yes, so uh, last words, any last words before we wrap it up? Okay, i just like to say, to repeat to Zimbabwe artists, the talent is not enough. Um, be very careful of the business side of me. Well, that was it. Thank you very much for joining us. Stay entertained, stay glued. It's your girl, Shasi Juicy 3. Thank you.